Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today we're going to start this Bab Matsya Daf Lamid. We're going to begin on Lamid Ahmed Aleph, the top line. Quoting the Mishnah Shaid Khalit Sarka of Khvaidaibhu. So in this the Mishnah on yesterday's daf on Khaftasamid Bayes told us that if a person has a item which he found and he has a, a ksus, for example, uh, some shirt. He can shake it once in 30 days. And he can spread it out. But when you spread it out, it's got to be for its sake, not to be able to show off, like bragging like this is yours. So in this, the Gemara wonders, Iboilhu, what sarko sarko mai? What if it's both at the same time? You need it. For the garment, but you also get a little bit of covet at the same time. So Tashma. Shaidcha with Sarka, it says you could do this only for its needs. With Sarka in, ha sarko, with sarka lo. Mashma for both not. It sounds like you can only not do it if it's only Lichvodo, which is Mashma Khvodo Hudaloi, Hod Sarko Sarko Shopper. Dami El Maho Lecha Mashmina. Because you can learn the Mishnah one way or the other. So therefore, you can't learn anything from the Mishnah. Tashima. <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's come up with a different raya. It says, lo yishtechena, lo al gabi mita. You cannot spread this out on a bed. Lo al gabi magoid, not on a peg, like like a, some type of uh, peg or some line for drying it out. With sarko. Oh, well, even though it's it's for uh, it's for your needs, you could do it for its needs. Okay, so it seems like our mission of that in itself isn't so clear. But then it says like this: Let's say guests start coming to your house, and they may see this item. So lo yishtachena lo al gabi mita lo al gabi magoid. Now it's mashma clearly that you don't want it to be out in the open because even though it's for the sake of the garment, but it's also going to be for your covet as well. And we see that's not allowed. So therefore, it's a raya. Whereas it's, no, it's not a normal situation because shani hasam demikla kolila. By you leaving it out, it's going to get destroyed. How's it going to get destroyed? I thought you were leaving it out. is good. It airs it out. Because now that there's guests, one of two things may happen. Imishim Eina. The person, they may cast their eyes upon it. Says Rashi. It, what, it's considered like it's burnt. What's Eina? Shetishloik ba'ayin ra. Shoarchim. They're going to have an ayin hara. Wow, look at this guy's fancy stuff. So you're putting an ayin hara on the item, and therefore it's going to be more likely to get lost. Omishum kenove. It's possible that they may the, your guests may steal it. Toshima. So there's no raya there. Hechnisa lerbivka says Rashi. This is an egla rufa koi. Um, and this is if you look in Tosis, Tosis may seem a little bit more clear. It's talking about paraduma. So. So it says like this: When it comes to this animal, shemit damkin shalosh mehemois. That there's three animals that, or four that are attached by its necks. Zu etzel zu, dashim medisha, and they're threshing together. So achnisal rev kam medasha kshera. So we say hoyavul neschavan shetadush because let's again let's just pause to talk about a paraduma. You're not allowed to asher in bo muamashul oil oil. You can't work with it. So in this case. Even since it was connected to all these other animals, we say it's not an issue. B'shvil shetinak b'tadush psula. But if the reason why says Rashi shahaisa ima dasha, its mother was threshing the hichnes as habas l'sham, and you brought its bas there, shetinak an old nurse the afnes chavin shedadush, and also for it to plow or to thresh its puzzle. Now, in this situation, it's for both purposes. It's for you and for the animal, and yet it's still possible. So we can learn out from here, Raya, 
then l'chayr it's it's um it's not allowed when it comes to um to a neveda. No shani hasim never cry asher uvad ba, which again asher uvad ba sounds like it's talking about from paraduma. So mikol makom in any situation you can't have it do work. So therefore, even if it's really for the sake of the animal, but nonetheless, it cannot have any work done. So you hachi afil nami. So what's the difference when it came to it being connected to all the other animals? If let's say a bird lands on the here, Rashi says beferish by paraduma koi. So it's a stickle hard to understand the the Rashi before that. Regardless. When it comes to a parduma, if a bird lands on the animal, so it so that's an owl. It's it's like it's like carrying a yoke, so to speak. No, that's kshera. That doesn't count. Uh, however, However, if the animal was um, mounted by um, a bull, so then all of a sudden the animal becomes uh, that parduma is possible. Now my timer, kira papa, near my papa, iksim oivid. Ubad, if it's said it different ways, That's even if it just happens mamela. You would think that you actually have to be the one that instigates. So uh the Ubad it's only a situation where it's nichale. So for a bird to land on, it's not nichale. But for uh, a, an animal, a bull, to mount it and for it to be able to produce offspring, that is a good thing. So in this, for a tesis, uh, this is tesis brought down elsewhere, Nim timer v'olehe l'zachar my p'sua, havadu l'nichale, l'hasu parashe domehe yikari m'shvil dabar muhit. Just so it can give birth to another cow, you're going to end up losing a pardum, which is one of the most expensive things you could ever you could ever get your hands on. So what does that mean if it's nichale? It's not nichale. So it's, what does that mean? So Taisa says, It means that if it would be kosher, then have a nichale. It's a very interesting svara. It's nichal, it would be nichale. That is something that you would want your cow to be able to produce offspring. Therefore, it's possible, even though, of course, that isn't good. Ayantosis. Anyway, so Lamaskana, we don't have a Terence because this is not proving anything because we're talking about a situation, Dafka by a Paraduma, that it says it, but you can't learn it out to show us the Veda. So it's an Aboy Delishita. And then the Mishnah said, if you find these vessels of silver, copper, so the Mishnah said, that you can use them again with sarkan, avalol shachan. You cannot be like worn out. So tanoban hamaitzik kli eats mishdamish mehen mishvil shlo yirok. You could use them so they don't get ruined or rotten. So apparently, by using them, that causes it to be um, not lose its quality. Kli nechayshes mishdamish mehen mechamen avalol yal de haor. When it comes to vessels which are of copper, you can use them with hot water, but not on an open flame, because a fire on an open flame that will wear it out. A silver vessel you could use cold water, not hot water, because it will blacken it. So this is actually now finally question seven. I thought it was on yesterday's daf, but question seven says, So you can't use um, kli kesef, silver vessels with chamen. And we said why just now because it blackens it. That's referring to kli nechayshes because the copper will end up getting worn out. And then finally, and that we said was Kli Zahav and Kli Zahuchas, which is really from our Mishnah. Okay, so we finally got to question seven. And then the Gemara continues. dumois. When it comes to shovels and hatchets, Mishtamish Mehen Barach. You can use it for soft materials. A little bit caution. You can't use shovels and hatchets for harder materials. Obviously, 
shemaf chison because it'll end up ruining the blade. Kli zahav, kli zuchukas lehem hena and shiyav al yahu. As we said, you can't use it at all. Kader shamer ba'aveda kachamer bibikadim. Just like when it comes to a lost object, so too when it comes to a pikadim, the same din applies. So my vidite gabe. What do you mean? If it's a pikadim, what is it doing? You're not supposed to be using it. So Rav. We're talking about a bikadin in which <coughs> the Baal has already went away. He left Medina Sayyam. So, in that situation, um, a person is allowed to to uh, have some utility and use it. So, anything in which is not dignified for a person to pick up, like sackcloth and all this, so you don't have to pick up. So in the there's a famous Gemara, the Tanur Abundance. So this is on the side, your Testament Bay is the third pair of Brachos. It says that you should, um, regarding hiding yourself from this item. So, sometimes you can hide yourself from it, sometimes you're not allowed to. Let's see your coin, and you see that there's a lost object in a cemetery, and... There's no chiyam for that kayan to become tamay to get it. Which is what our mission is talking about. That it's not honorable for you to take it. Let's say uh, the, the work involved is more than that of uh, his friend. Says Rashi. So if you retrieving this Aveda, which is going to cost $2... You have to take an hour off of work and you get paid $15 an hour. So that person has to compensate you for your lost time. So in that case, there's no pur- purpose in picking up. So my So why do we need this Pusik? What's the Pusik for? To exclude which of these cases? It's an assay of, of Hashit Tashivam. But there's a Los say. And a losa say when nefesh liyatama and kedoshim you. So obviously the losa say, but dachli is losa say the ase. Masu. Furthermore, lo dachin an isura mikmei mamoina. We're not going to push off an iser of becoming tummy so a person get his money back. El shalom aruba mishal chavero. Maybe the chiddush is that if the expenditures for the time lost rather. Is more than the item itself. Don't pick it up. So, but Rabbi Yehuda Marav Nachad, the Rabbi Yehuda Marav, FS Ki, as we continue to Lamed Amid Beis Ki Lo Yibcha Evyoin, that there should not be a poor person. Shulcha Kaidem Lishol Kol Adam. You are you come before everyone else. As Rashi Lo Savi Atzmach Ledeinius. Don't uh, you have to think about the poor, but don't make yourself poor. You come before everyone. So therefore, you picking it up. Is going to end up making you lose money. So there's no point in that. The Pasuk is coming to tell you if you have a Zakin, it's not, it's with Nadal Fikvoido, they just have to pick it up. So Amarabba, Hekisha Chayabo. Let's say you have Zesh Nadal Fikvoido, says Rashi. Let's say he hits the animal, um, and then all of a sudden starts moving, Chayabo. Rashi says, Hoyo Vihiskil. Since you began the process, you didn't have to hit it. And you could have walked away, you wouldn't have violated anything. You would have been okay. But now that you did start the process, now you have to return it. Abayah Havi Yosef came to the rabbi. He was sitting, Chazal Hanach Ize de Kaimu. He saw there was these goats. So Shako Kola, he took a clod of dirt, he threw it in their direction, which caused them to move. Armalei, Yechaimis Bahu, you're now obligated, Kum Ahad Rinu. You have an obligation to return these animals because even though you didn't physically hit it, but you you're the still the one who caused the motion. Let's say in a field there's no one around, so a zokin It's only because everyone's watching. But in a sada, if you pick up the item, you can pick up the item. No one cares. No one sees. However, the problem is. As he continues to bring into the city, there's going to be now a lot of people, and then he doesn't want to walk around with it. What's the din? Does he have to still pick it up? It needs to be physically brought from point A to point B into the city. Since even though he could pick it up in the in the field, 
But once he gets to the city, it's not proper, so therefore he shouldn't have to pick it up, even in the field. In the field, there's no reason why he shouldn't be able to pick it up. So once he picks it up, we should maybe think that it's similar to the hitting of the animal or throwing the clod of earth. That by doing so, you started the process. And once you started, you have to finish it. Teku. Question 8. So he said, if you hit it, you're chayv to return it. If you found it in a field, and it's not in the city, what the din is. Okay. Okay. Weiter. Omer Rava. Kol, if you're dealing with this Zokin, Lafishin, and Kvodo, Shibishalo, but the truth is, if it was his own, he would be walking around with it. If he makes a decision, even if it's not so honorable, but you see him walking around with something, so Machser, Bishal Chavero, Machser, so Bishal Chavero, Nami Machser. If let's say he would find something which is his, he would pick up. So then also, he would have to pick up something of his friends as well. For that matter, the whole Shibishaloi Pyrik Vitoyin, anytime and let's say he would unload or load uh, an animal um, for whatever items, uh Bishal Khaveranami Parik Vitoyin, based on the Pasik, as of Tazov and Hakim Takim of helping loading and unloading an animal, so maybe it's not dignified, but if he would do it for his own, so then he has to do it for them. So there were he was on the road. Pagamiyahu Gabi encountered a man, Havidari Paska de Ufe. He was carrying, Rashi says, a Masai Shal Aitzim, a bunch of wood, which is again not dignified to walk around with a bunch of wood. So Usvinhu Vika Mitbach. So it says Rashi was Oimid Lofush. He was standing still to, to rest a bit. Ramalay Dali Li, like lift it up for me, right? Help help me out. So Ramalay Kamashovin. So the great rabbi said, How much is this wood worth? Ramalay Palga de Zuza. It's worth half a zuz. So Yavli Palga de Zuza the Afkara. So he gave him the money and then he was Mafka the wood because he didn't want to have to deal with it. But he didn't want to deal with it because it's, it's not Lafik Foydai. Um, but nonetheless, he paid for it, so like he now owns it. And now that he owns the now he owns the wood, so now he's able to be mafkar. Hadu Zakhabahu, and then this guy uh picked it up. Hadu Yoibli Palgazuza. He gave him another half Zuz, the Afkara. Khazid Havika Boyla Mahedula Miske Bahu. You saw this guy was really uh, a prankster, and he was going to keep picking it up, and then he would have, he'd just keep getting a half a zuz each time. Normally he said, It's hefker to everyone except for you. So now he's not allowed to pick it up. So in a second, we have a hefker. How does that work? If you make something hefker to the poor, it's still going to be, even though you're not making hefker for everyone, you're only making hefker for the poor, so that is enough to be hefker, because the din is that something which is hefker, when you claim it, it's now potter from miser. It doesn't work. Uh, it has to mamish uh, be completely hefker, just like Shemitah, the rich and the poor can take it because it's completely onerous. So, I understand. How can he say everyone can have it? And can, it's Hefker for everyone except for you. The truth is, he really was Mafkrit for everyone, but he was just basically just saying this, hoping that this would deter him from picking it up again. I understand. Rabbi Shmuel Rabbi Yosi didn't have to even deal with this at all. He could have just said, "I'm sorry, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not. I'm not mechuyiv." So that's true. But Rabbi Shmuel Rabbi Yosi left Nimesh as a din who davad. He did things above and above and beyond. The Tanu Rabbi Yosi, as the pasuk says in Shmos, "Vodatolahem zebes chayehem." So what is this referring to? Rashi says, "Lilma behem umnois." You should teach a trade. Lisparnes 
Bob Chukos with Tyrus Ksivi Bereshit Kra. Okay. So you should be teaching him a trade and a livelihood. That's a Derech Zugmils Chasadim. Asher Yelchu, that you should go. Zeber Kachoylim. So it's an interesting that part of the mitzvah of Biker Choyim is going. So, so Shia, like, can you do Biker Choyim on a phone, right? There was that Yelchuba. Some people learn on that Pasuk. Um, so, um, Zeb Biker Choyim. Ba, Zukvura. Exactly how Ba means Kvura. Don't have Rashi's over here too much to help us. V'esa Masa Zedin. Asher Yasem Zulif Nimesho Zedin. So there is an element in a Pasuk of going even with Nim. Uh, Mishur Sadin, uh, and that's what he did regarding um, this pasuk. Okay. Okay. So let's finish up to the mission now. So that Zilif Nishnan. So Amar Asher Yelchu Zabikachayu. So it says, what is it? Visiting the sick. What do you mean? We already mentioned the pasuk also mentions Gemil Chasadim. How do Gemil Chasadim? Isn't visiting the sick a form of Chesed? So lo nisrocha el ben giloi. We're talking about a case of a ben giloi. So what is the special quality of a ben giloi? Dear Mamar, ben giloi noitel ech mishishim bechaliyav. It actually takes away one sixtieth of his illness if you are have this this connection uh, to them. Befil hachi mi boy lo mezel mi boy le gabe. You still have an obligation to go to him. So even though the truth is, by going, you lose out, but you still have a chiv to go. So bearing some is also chesed. It's referring to That's what it's referring to. Why was Yerushalayim destroyed? They did follow the Torah well. Dimigista Lidainoi. So what does that mean? It says Rashi Biasurin um, Uvachazaka. Right? It says like, like something which was uh with with pain and difficulty. El Amash, what does that mean? El Amash Yamido Dinehem Al Dintara Veloha Velo Umdulif Name Mesho said Din. The fact that we didn't go above and beyond, that was the reason why Yashlam was destroyed, which is pretty amazing. I, the, uh, perhaps the shot is the fact that your shalayim exists is lefnim mishos adin, because the fact that we have Eretz Yisrael, we had a base of mikdash, that is lefnim mishos adin. That, despite the majority and all the different problems, so Hashem says, I'll continue to have your shalayim as long as you also act lefnim mishos adin. If you go lamal minateva, so then we will also, I'll also, if your existence is lamal minateva, then also I'll. Uh, do the same. But if not, the base of Mikdash can't function. Cannot function based on Teva. Question, and we'll stop there. TB 17. Yelchu ba is Yelchu ba is Ba is that Givos Chasadim? So a Bikr Chayom afil a Ben Gilo. Shu Naitel Mixas Achayla. He takes away some of his sickness. For who Hamavakir gets Chayla Ksas, right? So you actually get some of the uh, sickness, if you will, from going. So because you're Ben Gilo, so he gets a little bit healed, but you also uh, get zapped a little bit on the on the other end. I was going to see if there's, a, there's any Rashi over here. No. Um, and then I continued. I said, when it comes to Bikr Choylim, that's Bikr Choylim. Kfura afil im hu zakin shenlefi kvodo. So when we make this hat there of his salamta is dafka when it comes to Hashem Saveda. However, for you to be oisik and kfura, even if it's something which seemingly is lafish zakin, which is not lekfaydai, it doesn't make any difference. You still need to be oisik in in kfura. Okay, we did this. Let's see if there's a question on TA. So. Um, I thought maybe I, did I skip a piece. No, yeah. So we actually did this. This is actually on the previous daf. So let's make sure we have this daf lamed amid Allah. So what does this mean? So again, if you find a kli eights or a kli zechuchas, 
Are you allowed to use them? So Klizachuchis, we said Liyigabahen. Let's just see what he writes over here. 16. Klizachuchis Liyishtamish. Okay? That's clear. Right? There's no question about it. That we saw in the Mishnah, and it says it here as well. Um, when it comes to Kli 8, Yishtamish, you could use it. And the reason why you can use Kli 8, I'm trying to find it, is. Oh, it's up top. Hamaitzik Kli 8. So it doesn't get ruined or rotten. And if the owner left the country, so then in that situation, as we said, so then we say that the din is the same, that when it comes to clean eights, you can use it. When it claims the klisachuchas, a glass cup, that should not be used. Adkan.